Any parent knows that there comes a time during the winter when cabin fever sets in for our kids. They may start to get a little stir crazy, but there's hope. TV host and DIY expert Anitra Mekadon joins us this morning with what you need to know before the temperatures start to dip to help us create the ultimate kid cave. Good morning, Anitra. Good morning, how you doing today? Good, I am excited to talk about this because you know right now in Charleston it's warm and it's hard to think about those winter months, but we do need to get a plan in place. So what tips and tricks do you have for creating a cool kid cave? Well, there are definitely some do's and don'ts if you're gonna create your own kid cave. Um, but the goal is always the same. It's to create a room the kids are actually going to want to hang out in. Now, uh, a way I like to do that is I like to break the space up, believe it or not, into designated fun zones. Um, meaning, uh, like over here, we'd have a study work zone, a play zone, um, we've got our movie gaming zone, even uh, a reading nook could be a great hangout zone. Um, the the perfect way to do this is by using colorful rugs, lighting, and even shelving to break up those zones. You'd be surprised by um, splitting up your space uh, and designating these zones. It's actually going to feel larger um, and more finished in the end. I love it. So, you know, what are some of the most common mistakes, though, that parents make when designating a specific area like this for kids? I, <laughs> it's always the same. Um, to me, parents tend to make a room for them, not necessarily one their kids are gonna love. Uh, so here's a thought, and um, this probably affects a lot of your viewers out there. I suggest you go out and buy a gallon of paint because I guarantee your kids are not digging your beige walls anymore. It should have color. It should be a fun place for kids to be kids. Makes a lot of sense for sure. So, you know, as we're doing this, we buy our gallon of paint. Paint. Now we have to childproof, right? The kids' room to kind of limit potential oh, costs yeah. and damages, but we still want them to have fun. So, how do we do that? Yeah, you know, um, reality is uh, parents, you know your kids, they're going to horse around in the house and it takes a split second for a lacrosse stick or even a baseball bat to go through a wall, right? Um, that's why I recommend anyone, whether you're uh, building your own kid cave or even remodeling a, a basement or a garage, uh, I recommend Purple High Impact XP Drywall by National Gypsum. Um, and here's why. Uh, a bat will leave a giant hole in standard drywall. Um, that could be costly and time consuming to fix, right? Uh, but Purple High Impact XP is basically ready for life. It's ready for anything you or your kids can throw at it, including a baseball bat. The reason being, it has this mesh embedded in the core, um, and all you really need to know about that is that lacrosse stick is not going to go through the wall. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I would rather fix a tiny dent than a giant gaping hole any day. You know, you just mud, sand, paint, and you're done. Um, another cool product, uh, an another cool thing about this product is it's moisture mold and mildew resistant, so it gives the parents that extra peace of mind to know that the walls are actually working for them. I think, I love it. Every parent needs that probably everywhere in their house. Hey, really quickly, where can we go Especially for more you. information? I do need it. Where can we go for more info? It, well, AskForPurple.com has great tips, uh, project ideas, how-to videos so that you could build your own kid cave. All right, Anitra, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And everyone else, stay with us. We've got much more after the break.